Hello, I'm Philip Ko. Welcome to my channel, a channel that is all about helping you become effective facilitators in young children's learning. I post videos every week, and if you are new here, do consider subscribing to my channel so that you can be notified when new videos are posted. Talking with children has significant impact on children's growth and development. Having conversations with children will help to stimulate their brains. This is exceptionally important, especially in the first three years of children's lives. Studies have shown that when adults are actively engaged in taking turns to talk with children, children's vocabulary, grammar and verbal reasoning can be greatly improved. Since math is in the language, having active math talk with children can be an effective way to learn numeracy. In this video, I would like to share with you 8 tips on how you can help children learn numeracy by having meaningful math talk with the children. So, let's dive into it. Tip number one, match children's interest during math talk. Children are naturally curious and enjoy socializing with people whom they feel comfortable with. By age four, children are capable of sharing, cooperating and playing with their peers. To have meaningful math talk with children, we can take note of what the children are interested in and match them accordingly, so that children can remain comfortable to engage in the conversations we have with them. When you have identified what the children's interests are, for example, children are very interested with the colourful balls that they are playing with. Match their interests by talking about math-related concepts that can be found in these toys, for example, the colours and the sizes of the balls. This brings us to tip number two. Be aware of the possible math concepts that can be taught. Before starting math talk, it is useful to be aware of what the math concepts that are appropriate for young children to learn. Knowing how these concepts are learned sequentially will make learning from math talk even more effective because children learn from simple to complex. Some of the math concepts suitable for young children are matching, sorting, ordering, shapes, patterning, counting, and measurement, just to name a few. Take for example, when children are interested in the toy vehicles that they are playing with, adults can initiate math talk by comparing the sizes of the vehicles, observe the shapes that can be found in the vehicles, or count how many vehicles are there. Show genuine interest and be involved in children's play as you talk with them. This will encourage the children to listen and talk when questions are asked to help them learn different math concepts. Tip number three, tap on children's prior knowledge. To be a good facilitator, it is helpful to have some idea of children's prior knowledge by first finding out what the children know about the possible math concepts that you can bring up during math talk. Take for example, when children are interested in the colourful balls that they are playing with, questions can be asked to find out if children are able to count the balls reliably in one-to-one -one correspondence. Are they able to put two balls of the same colour together? Or are they able to arrange the balls in a simple pattern? After knowing children's prime knowledge, we can move on to tip number four, and that is to hone children's understanding of the math concept that we want to focus on. You are now set to deepen children's understanding of the math concept that you want them to learn during math talk. For example, you found out that the children are only able to count the balls reliably up to 5 when they were asked to count to 10. In that case, focus on the quantities that children are not familiar with during the math talk. For example, playing counting games that focus on 6 and then gradually moving on to 7, 8, 9 and 10. 
since children are having fun learning through play and with adults engaging in meaningful math talk with them, they are likely to learn the math concepts more effectively. It is also possible that children may lose interest in counting. In that case, other math concepts can be explored to engage children in math talk. Tip number five, talk and use math language actively. Children demonstrate innate abilities to learn and understand language at a very young age. Since math is in the language, adults should maximize the window of opportunities to engage children actively in math talk to help them learn numeracy. To have meaningful math talk, adults can actively take note of the different math-related words that are commonly used in children's daily lives and use them during their conversations with them. For example, talking to children that they have one nose, two eyes, five fingers, ten toes, their legs are longer than their arms, are concrete conversations that children can relate. There are so many things in the environment that adults can talk to the children which are related to math. For example, in a home setting, the colour of the cushion is the same as the curtain. The table is bigger than the chair. There is a rectangle in the door, just to name a few. Take note to use simple languages that children can understand. For example, to help children understand the concept of matching, it is useful to help children understand the meaning of the word same before teaching children the word match. Practice positive communication skills by going down to the children's level and maintain a warm, friendly disposition, such as smiling. This will encourage children to remain engaged in math talk. Tip number six is to ask questions to reinforce and extend children's learning. Asking questions is a key component in provoking mathematical thinking during math talk. When adults ask questions that are related to children's interests, it will definitely motivate children to be engaged in conversations with adults to trigger math learning. There are different types of questions that adults can ask to facilitate math learning. There are open-ended questions, closed-ended questions, and comparing questions. Some examples of these questions are what can you do with these coloured balls? How many blue balls are there? Are there more red balls than yellow balls? Because children have different language abilities and they learn at different pace, it is essential to take note of their developmental milestones and use questions appropriately to reinforce and extend children's understanding of math concepts. Tip number seven, listen to what the children are saying. Listening to children helps develop confidence and build trust. It also enables children to develop vocabulary, comprehension, and language. All these outcomes from listening are building blocks that will help children understand numeracy better. When adults listen actively to children, they are sending strong messages to the children that they are important and valued. Active listening creates a sense of respect and connection that will encourage children to participate actively in conversations. When listening to children, look out for two responses. One, what children are interested in and build on it. For example, children are excited about the animals that they have seen during a field trip. Encourage them to talk more about the animals using various vocabulary related to colours, size, shapes, and quantity. 2. Look up for children's understanding of various math concepts by asking them to point or to say. For example, when the focus is on counting, ask, can you point to five elephants? Show children five elephants and ask, how many elephants are there? When listening is active and mindful, learning numeracy during math talk 
can be promoted effectively. Lastly, tip number eight. Keep conversations interactive and playful. Have fun. Children love to talk, especially younger children, when they are excited about something from their daily experiences. Children have to learn that there are rules in communication, such as taking turns to talk, paying attention when others are talking, or asking questions when in doubt. Adults play a very important role in modelling to the children how to have meaningful conversations during math talk. Be curious, patient and playful so that these dispositions can be rubbed off on the children. When math talk is fun and enjoyable, children will learn and absorb better. Well, these are the 8 tips on how to have meaningful math talk with children. Try applying them with the children that you're working with and let me know in the comments your thoughts about math talk. If you have other topics that you would like me to work on, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely respond to them. Do consider clicking on the subscribe button if you would like to be notified when more content on early childhood education are posted. Well, thanks for watching and see you soon.